In the arena that is data structures and algorithms courses created by software engineering YouTubers targeted at people trying to pass their technical interviews, the most recent combatant is Neat Code Pro. Coming at $130 for the lifetime subscription or $100 for just the year, Neat Code Pro is an interesting example because NeatCode.io, the website as a whole, already provides so much value for free that it's going to take a lot for that price tag to be justified. So taking a look at the website as a whole, the most attractive feature is the list of 150 curated leak code questions that has links to video solutions as well as code solutions all right there in one place. So when you buy Neatcode Pro, you're not getting a platform like with Leetcode Premium or Algo Expert. You're getting courses. Currently, there are courses in data structures and algorithms and system design. And I think this is where kind of the first problem with Neatcode Pro really comes into play. You're also getting a link to a Discord, and poking around there led to some interesting conclusions that I'll talk about towards the end of the video. As far as what courses are actually offered, you have data structures and algorithms courses and system design courses. And that's kind of where the first problem really comes in because you have a split audience. Nobody that needs a fundamental understanding of data structures and algorithms is also going to be in the market for a system design interview. So at most, when you pay $100 for the year, you're gonna be interviewing for what? About four months? Nobody actually interviews for the whole year. And then of that interview season, you're only really going to be able to take advantage of the first or second half of the courses that are offered. So let's see the quality of the two halves here, because if each one is so good that it alone justifies the cost of the whole, then the whole split audience thing doesn't matter. And this is where we run into some of my qualms with a lot of these courses just as a whole. And that's, there's a lot of breadth of information, but not so much depth. So with the data structures and algorithms course, yeah, it's a pretty solid overview. I will give him credit that he does a good job of balancing the kind of computer science theory with the practical application. I feel like sometimes a lot of these courses, they just say to hell with the theory and dive straight into application. But when you do that, you don't actually learn that much as you do pick up tricks for solving problems. And with the system design course, there's a good overview of a lot of the principles that you should be aware of in your system system design interviews, but I don't actually know that it alone is enough to teach you system design such that you could pass an interview. And if you're buying a course that you're then going to have to supplement with other courses or other ways of learning, then the kind of value proposition of a course being an aggregate of information so that you don't have to do the research and you can be confident in the quality of your learning resources, that content aggregation factor isn't there for the system design course. It's also important to note the competition. Like I said, there is an arena of data structures courses out there. There's so many. Even Algo Expert, who itself is a platform and not a direct competitor to Neatcode does have a broad overview of data structures and algorithms as a part of their course, although then it's really more of a refresher and not meant to teach you from the ground up. Drama Class is another example of a YouTuber data structures and algorithms course, and you know, his website, it hasn't really been updated in about a year. To my understanding, this was Joma Tech's kind of COVID project was cranking out these courses, and while the quality of the animation does seem fairly high, I don't know that it particularly differentiates itself, although I will know that Joma class is one of the few SQL database courses bundled with a data structures and algorithms course and in my personal experience I have actually seen a lot of leak code easy style interviews get paired with a simple SQL query so it, SQL is definitely something worth learning and something that you might not learn in a computer science curriculum or just general computer science education like you will data structures and algorithms so points for the monthly subscription points for the SQL course, but I don't know that it really differentiates itself. Another YouTuber, The Tech Lead, has his Tech Interview Pro for a thousand dollars. Jesus Christ. So The Tech Lead, side tangent, not a software engineer and content creator anymore. He is completely a get-rich-quick snake oil salesman, scam artist, pump and dumping NFTs, telling you the economy is crashing, harvesting money out of your fear, and yeah, don't buy his thousand dollar data structures course. There is no proprietary information that he has that is worth a thousand dollars and you know when it comes to the marketing of these courses and the ethics of the people selling them I think you can look to someone like Neatcode as a good example of somebody who actually does provide a ton of value for free and genuinely wants the best for his viewers I, I by no means even if I'm not quite convinced of the value proposition of Neatcode 
Pro, I do not think that Neat Code is in the same category as someone like the tech lead. And I think one thing that really challenges something like Neat Code Pro is the fact that there are so many free resources out there for both data structures and algorithms and system design. For data structures, you have Free Code Camp, Hacker Rank, Leak Code, all of them have free data structures and algorithms courses. And for system design, you have PDFs of textbooks like Designing Data Intensive Applications or Grokking the System Design Interview. They're all just out there. They're there for the taking. So is the quality of the content in Neat Code Pro so much better than the free content out there that it's 100% worth the cost? Or is the aggregation of the content by Neat Code, you know, so good and removes so many headaches from you that it's worth the cost? No, not really. It's not hard to find a good data structures and algorithms course. In fact, I think there's a solid argument that you're better off starting from the ground up with something like a university data structures and algorithms course, which granted might take you on some side roads, go on some tangents, things that are only relevant to say academic computer science and not directly applicable to your technical interviews, but in learning a fundamental understanding of how data structures work in a way that you're not going to forget. Uh, you're going to form an intuition that is going to affect you as a software engineer. You're not studying to pass the interviews, you're studying to be a better computer scientist and software engineer. And that's why I think sometimes the free content from something like a university can actually be superior to a lot of these paid courses that are really just a means to an end in their philosophies. In terms of competition for system design courses, there's actually not that much. A lot of the knowledge for system design interviews kind of comes from textbooks, but there are a couple of courses like Systems Expert or Interview Ready. And while I haven't personally purchased either of those courses, from what I've heard on the internet, Blind Reddit, is that they do a decent job of giving you a lot of breath, but they, again, kind of lack the depth that you will get in something like a textbook. And I think textbooks are a really clean example of kind of the holy grail of what a course could eventually look like. Because when I think of what a course should do for me to justify the sticker price of information that ultimately is available for free on the internet, it should support my education from the beginning when I'm just watching videos, getting a general understanding to the middle where I'm kind of trying to write, read written content and genuinely understand the depth of a subject all the way to actually practicing, implementing and remembering all of the things that I've learned. So when I look at Neat Code, it definitely fulfills kind of the beginning, the very first broad overview of system design or data structures and algorithms. And then for free, Nico.io provides a lot of help in actually practicing, but there's that void there in the center of something like written content. And I actually used the Discord to ask Neat Code what he was planning in terms of written content. And he said written content was on the list of things to do. It just wasn't necessarily going to come soon because written content is, is a lot of work. And the Discord in general reveals this idea idea of kind of buying a promise. When I asked people on the Discord what their impressions of Neatcode Pro so far were, a couple of people mentioned that they thought there was uh, more breadth than there was depth, and that some of the content was a little bit rushed, but overall they all seemed to be happy with their purchase, and they all hit the note of, I was happy to just support Neatcode. Neatcode.io provides so much value for free that even if, yeah, I paid a hundred bucks, maybe it wasn't down to the minutia of the accounting worth it, I was happy to support Neatcode. And I think that's a perfectly valid and noble cause of just supporting a content creator that you like. And with Neatcode planning to add something like written content, he's already working on an object-oriented design course. He has a, a lot of plans and I, I personally do believe that Neatcode is going to kind of execute those plans and build Neatcode Pro up to hopefully be a beginning to end kind of solution for your software engineering interview education needs. It's just not quite there yet. And I can't advocate as kind of a content creator here that you buy a promise. From the individual's perspective, the marginal utility of Neatcode Pro, it's just not there. But if you're flush with cash and you want to support Neatcode, maybe you're transitioning from another career, so you already have some money and you, you do have to learn data structures and algorithms from the ground up, or you're, you're just now starting to get into that mid-level software engineering role where you need to pass system design interviews and you already have uh, some spare change laying around 100% go by Neatcode Pro I think you'll at least be satisfied even if you don't have your socks knocked off that is all I have to say for this video sorry that my my one light there kind of died in the middle of shooting and I hope you guys stick around I'm going to be reviewing more courses in the future peace